Why won't your car start in cold weather? That is what we are going to talk about in this video. We're looking at the seven likely causes and how to fix each one of them. So it's early morning on one of these winter days, your windshield is covered in frost, your breath fogs in the air, and all you want is for your car to start and get you to work, school, or anywhere warm. But you turn the key and nothing. Or maybe just a sluggish crank. Or worse, a click, then silence. It's frustrating, inconvenient, and sometimes even dangerous. When your car won't start in cold weather, it feels like winter is working against you. The truth is, cold weather doesn't exactly break your car. What it really does is expose weaknesses. Whether it's a tired battery, thickened oil, or fuel system issues, winter finds the soft spots and turns them into major problems. The good news is, once you know what to look for, you can prevent most cold weather no-start situations. So here are the seven of the most common causes of car won't start in cold weather problem, and exactly how to fix or avoid them. Starting with the most obvious one, a weak or dying battery. Now, before we get into it, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot and also turn on the post notification so you don't miss our video. Thank you very much. So, one of the most common reasons a car will refuse to start in cold weather is a weak battery. Car batteries rely on a chemical reaction to generate power, and when temperatures drop, that reaction slows down. In freezing weather, a fully charged battery can lose more than a third of its strength. If your battery is already aging or weak, it may not have enough juice to crank the engine at all. Especially cold weather amplifies everything. Signs to look out for. The engine cranks slowly. Clicking sound when turning the key. Dim interior lights or dashboard flicker. Starts fine once warmed up later in the day. How to fix this? If your battery is more than 3 to 5 years old, get it tested. Most auto shops can do this for free. If it's not holding a charge, replace it. Also clean any corrosion from the terminals and make sure the cables are tightly secured. Parking indoors or using a battery warmer in extreme cold can also help. Number thickened or old engine oil. Cold temperatures make engine oil thicker and more resistant to flow. That means your engine has to work harder to turn over and your battery has to work even harder to crank it. If you're using the wrong oil viscosity or haven't changed your oil in a long time, that thick sludge can make starting almost impossible on cold mornings. Signs to look out for. Slow labored cranking. Engine seems stuck or hard to turn over. Oil light stays on longer during startup. How to fix this? Check your owner's manual and switch to a winter grade oil like 0W20 or 5W30 if your climate is consistently cold. Fresh oil flows better, so don't delay routine oil changes before winter. Synthetic oils typically perform better in cold temps, so consider upgrading if you haven't already. Frozen fuel lines or poor fuel quality. Water vapor in the fuel system can freeze when temperatures drop below freezing. This can block the flow of fuel from the tank to the engine. Additionally, if you let your fuel tank run low, the chances of condensation, and thus ice, increase. In diesel vehicles, fuel can gel in extreme cold, which also prevents starting. Signs to look out for. The engine cranks but doesn't start. Sputtering before stalling. Ran fine yesterday but dead this morning. How to fix. Keep your gas tank at least half full in winter to prevent condensation. You can also use a fuel line antifreeze additive in extremely cold conditions. Replace the fuel filter if it hasn't been done in a while. Diesel drivers in very cold regions should use winterized diesel or fuel conditioners to prevent gelling, starter motor, or electrical issues. If your battery is good but you still get only a clicking sound or nothing when turning the key, the problem may be the starter motor. Cold makes the starter's job tougher, and if it's worn or if wiring is loose or corroded, it may not work when you need it most. Signs to look out for. One single loud click, no crank. No sound at all when turning the key. The starter turns slowly or intermittently. How to fix it? Inspect the battery cables and starter connections for corrosion, fraying, or looseness. Tighten everything. If the starter is showing signs of failure, slow response, unusual noise, inconsistency, it may be time to replace it. Turning off all accessories, radio, lights, heater, before starting helps give maximum power to the starter. Bad spark plugs or ignition system faults. Cold air is denser and makes the fuel air mix harder to ignite. If your spark plugs are worn, or if ignition coils or wires are failing, your engine may crank fine, but won't start. This is especially common in older vehicles or those overdue for a tune-up. Signs to look out for. The engine cranks but doesn't fire up. 
Rough idle once it starts. The check engine light comes on. How to fix this. Replace spark plugs if they're past their service interval. Check ignition wires and coils for signs of cracking or corrosion. If your car is hard to start only when it's cold and fine otherwise, cold weather ignition system failure is likely. A scan tool can help detect misfires or ignition-related trouble codes. You may also want to check out our other video here on the signs of symptoms of a bad spark plugs versus ignition coil and how to replace it. Link will be in the description below. Frozen or blocked air intake. Ice and snow buildup can physically block your car's air intake, making it difficult or impossible to start. Moisture inside the air filter or intake system can freeze and restrict airflow. In older vehicles, frozen carburetors or chokes can also be an issue. Signs to look out for. Car starts and then immediately stalls. Very rough idle. Whistling or hissing from the intake area. How to fix. Inspect the air intake tubing and air filter housing for snow, ice, or water buildup. Replace the air filter if it's damp or dirty. Keep your intake system clean and clear before parking overnight. In extremely cold conditions, parking the front of the car away from the wind can help reduce ice buildup. Now moving to number 7, a mechanical problem. Sometimes cold weather reveals underlying mechanical problems that weren't noticeable before. Worn piston rings, valves, or low compression can make cold starts a nightmare. Your engine may turn over fine, but it just doesn't have the pressure needed to fire up in freezing temperatures. Signs to look out for. Very long crank time before starting. Starts okay when warm, but not when cold. Blue smoke on startup. How to fix this. If you suspect deeper engine trouble, a compression test can help diagnose internal wear. This isn't a quick fix, but catching these issues early can help you plan for repairs before you're completely stranded. Regular maintenance like oil changes, timing belt replacement, and engine inspections will help prevent this from becoming a cold weather failure. Now, here is a few extra steps to stay ahead of this cold weather. 1. Use a block heater if you live in a region where temps regularly fall below 20 degrees mice because size star is 6 degrees it's iron. It keeps the engine warm and easier to start. 2. Turn off all accessories before starting heater, radio, lights, to reduce electrical load. 3. Don't pump the gas. Modern fuel-injected cars don't need it and it could flood the engine. Warm the key fob in your hand if you have push start. Sometimes cold batteries inside the fob can interfere. 4. Listen to your car. Any changes in startup sound, longer cranks or flickering lights are signs that something is weakening. A car that won't start on a cold morning isn't just frustrating, it can put your day, safety, and comfort at risk. But you're not powerless. Winter exposes weak spots, but if you know what to look for and prepare ahead of time, you can reduce your chances of being stuck in the cold. Address battery health, oil viscosity, fuel quality, and your ignition system before winter hits hard. Most of these fixes are relatively affordable and simple, especially compared to the cost of a tow truck or emergency repair. Now, if you find this video to be helpful, be sure to check out our order video here, where we talk about the signs of a bad alternator versus the signs of a bad battery. Which one is causing your no-start problem? I will see you on that video.